Once you have selected your settings for read setup, each time you have one or more files on your writer that you wish to transfer to your computer, you'll click the Read Notes button on the function bar, and then see a list of files available to select. This dialog also displays information about other files that were created on the writer along with Steno Notes, such as JDA finds, timestamps, and audio. You can select one or more files to read. To select one file, you would simply click the desired file. If all you wanted to read was the file taken on August 11th at 5.18 p.m., you would proceed to the next step. However, as you can see, there are two other files that were written on the same day. If any or all of these files were part of the same job, you select these files as well. To select a series of consecutively listed files, after clicking to select the first file, you will press and hold down the Shift key, and then click the last file in the list. Let's say we wanted to select the first file and the last one, but not the second file on the list. To select or deselect any one file in a list without affecting the other selections, you can press and hold down the control key, and then click the file you want to select or deselect. Next, you will select the destination for the Steno Notes files that you have selected. The default destination for the Steno Notes is a file in your Case Catalyst user on your computer's hard disk. Another option is to make a copy of the Steno Notes file and print them to PDF format. This is most typically selected by reporters and students using paperless writers, such as the Diamante, Elan Mira, or Elan Cybra, in jurisdictions that require paper notes. Printing to PDF would be used for Steno Notes storage and printing. Steno Notes in a PDF cannot be translated to text. For this lesson, we will use the most common option. We will read notes to the hard drive. Next, we must determine whether the selected files should be read together into one job or read into separate jobs. If you click individually, then each of the selected files will be read and saved separately, each with the individual names on your hard drive. If you click all in one, then all of the selected files will be read and saved into one file with one name on your hard drive. Both of the files we have selected are part of a single job. So we'll click all in one and read them into one file. Separately recorded audio files associated with separate steno files cannot be appended into a single file. If we wanted the audio that was recorded on our writer to be read and synchronized with the text when these files are translated, we would click individual and read in each file under a separate file name. For this example, we will not need the audio that was recorded on the writer. So we'll just click OK to proceed and read the two selected files into one big file. File selection is now complete. To learn how to name and save the selected steno files, click the link to the next lesson, Name and Save. When you've finished viewing all three of the Read Notes lessons, you can practice read setup, file selection, and naming and saving files in the training user.